everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my shelf. So I did a bookshelf tour last week, and I had asked you guys if you wanted to see kind of the knickknacks on my shelf. Basically, it's all pop dolls, and then there's a few other things, so this is kind of like an updated pop doll collection, but you guys seemed really into it, and also I kind of liked the idea the more I thought about it. was not planning on filming this video today. I was planning on doing a completely different video, but I'm going to do that video later and just do this video now. So yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys what's on my shelf. It's probably going to take a while, so let's Let's just get into it. So my tripod is at literally the highest height that it will go, so that's making me very nervous, but we're starting off on top of my shelf. So first off, I have the Statue of Liberty from when I went to New York years ago, and then I have a Justin Bieber lanyard around it because I went to a Justin Bieber concert. Uh, when did I go? Years and years ago. I also have a lanyard from when I worked at Aeropostale for four years before they went bankrupt and pulled out of Canada, so thanks Aero. Then I have this foldable book that says Breed. I got mine off of Book Outlet. Not sure if they have them anymore. The company is called Art Folds though. It was really easy to do. Just don't recommend doing it all in one sitting because my fingers were killing me after. And then coming over here I have this little Alice figurine. Um, I got this for Christmas this year from my parents so thank you to them for getting it for me. It is from the Jim Shore Disney Traditions collection and I just love it. It is so cute and colorful and just everything that my Alice collection needed. I'm really sorry but the angle is going to be really weird for this top shelf but then I have this Alice mug that I got at the Disney store a few years ago and then I have the original Disney Alice pop doll as well as one of the bookends that I have. These are from an amazing company on Etsy. They are absolutely beautiful. You guys send me pictures of them all the time and I'm so happy that I have them. Thank you so much to that company for sending them to me. I highly recommend you check them out. They have all sorts of amazing bookends and they are so well made so I will link them down below for you guys. So coming over here we have the Alice in Wonderland Tim Burton edition pop doll and then the Alice in Wonderland Dorbs doll which is also by Funko and then we have the White Rabbit which is a Funko mystery mini. I think it's from the Villains collection. Coming a little bit further down you can see the other bookend that we have which has Alice in the hat and then the Cheshire Cat. I just love these bookends so much and then I have another one of these Disney traditions um, little figurine things. This is another one that I got for Christmas this year from my parents so thank you to them again I love these things and this one looks like a book and it says Merry Unbirthday it is just so cute and it has the mad tea party scene I just love it and then next to that I have a globe I have this butterfly that I got for Christmas from my sister years ago I have a bow from when I did cheerleading and then I have this little uh, picture that I made that has a poppy from when I went to France last year and it is in memory of my uh, friend who was in the military so coming down to the actual bookshelves we have first off the Alice in Wonderland uh, Queen of Hearts from the Tim Burton um, adaptation. That was really hard for me to say. And then next to that I have some Dutch clogs that someone got when they went to Amsterdam or somewhere in the Netherlands. Not sure. My mom's side of the family is Dutch so I like having them there. Then I have this little owl that I got when I went to Dijon in France last year. And then here I have a squirrel that my best friend got me because we really like squirrels and we basically are squirrels. So moving on over we have the Ariel pop doll. She falls all the time which is very annoying but she is adorable and then next to that I have the Queen of Hearts Dorbs from the uh, just original Disney Alice collection and then I have a little mini Tis the Season I think it is candle yeah Tis the Season even though it isn't the season anymore so moving on over we have Nemo with his little fin it is so cute like I absolutely love him and then over here I have an H I do have a I L E Y so it spells out my whole name and these were from my grandmother but the other ones are in storage and then here we have the Mad Hatter, the um, Tim Burton Through the Looking Glass edition, and then another candle, but this one is Caramel Apple. So moving on over again, we have a Bell Pop doll. This is one of the recent ones where they did all the princesses dancing, and I have all of them except for one. Um, I need to get Tiana from Princess and the Frog, but I haven't actually seen that movie yet, but Bell is one of my favorites, and I love this one. And then I have in this little jar here, I have um, some sprigs of lavender from when I went to France last year, and I wish that it had the lid, but my sister's cat like just destroyed it so there is no lid and then over here we have Tinkerbell who is so cute and she has a little wand and finally for this top shelf we have the little dorbs of the Disney Mad Hatter and then I have a couple of just little turtle figurines that I got I don't even know where I just kind of acquire these things don't know where they come from and then uh, I have this little card that came with a crafted van bookmark and it says make each day a page worth marking which I really like so moving on down we have the Cheshire Cat from the Alice in Wonderland Timber 
Burton adaptation pop doll collection and then we have Lord Voldemort who is like my favorite because he his hands are just so how he is in the movie and he just looks so unimpressed and then next to that we have this little um, manatee seashell case thingy that my mom got me when she went to Florida and it has all of my magnetic bookmarks in it. So next to that I have Newt Scamander because I went to go and see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and I just fell in love. It was so amazing so I had to go and get him. I also want the Niffler but I have to tame myself and then next to that I have a Reading at the Cafe candle by Frostbeard Studio and then I have Elsa because she is just my favorite. I really enjoy her and then we have Peasant Belle because I also really like Belle. So moving on like I said there's a whole line of these dancing princesses so I got the Cinderella one because she just looks beautiful and and then I also have Emma Bloom from the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children movies. And I also have this little uh, Chrysler building and it is supposed to like hold pictures or notes but I just keep it on here. All right now coming down here we have this little hilarious Liam figurine from One Direction. If you don't know One Direction is my guilty pleasure and Liam is my absolute favorite so there he is. He is great. I think it's so funny and then I have a little TARDIS. Um, I believe it is supposed to be a um, what's it called a brooch and I just keep it on my shelf because I don't really wear brooches and then up here we have this New York um what's it called snow globe that I've had for a very long time and it just is like tilting it does not look good anymore but I still like keeping it on my shelf now coming further down we have Miss Peregrine and the Falcon that she turns into from the movie from the book as well but this is just the movie edition and then over here we have the terrific trio so we have Hermione Harry and Ron and they are in front of Hogwarts very appropriately so then coming down here we have another snow globe and this is another New York snow globe but this one is Times Square and then next to that I have this little Elsa um, Funko mystery mini pop or no not Elsa I meant Anna and then right here we have one of my favorite uh, princess pop dolls this one is Rapunzel from Tangled and it's her with the braid which is just beautiful so I really like this one I'm so sorry Anna now coming over here we have this beautiful mask that my sister got me when she went to Venice last year I'm very excited to go to Venice this year and maybe I can get myself another one and then over over here we have Dumbledore. His glasses broke so he has tape on him which makes me very sad but he is still adorable nonetheless. And then over here we have another Ariel pop doll and this is her in a sparkly, uh, the sparkly like gown that she wears at the end of the movie. I don't know if it's at the end but she wears it at some point. Now coming over here we have Dobby who is just like the cutest little thing with a sock in his hand. Can't even handle it. And then we have an Adipo which is from Doctor Who which I absolutely love. And then we have this little tea set. It's an Alice in Wonderland tea set. It's tiny. There were teacups that came with it but my sausage fingers could not handle them so I just got rid of them. So now we just have the actual teapot and this is gonna fall everywhere but it also has the platter which has the mad tea party scene. So next up we have the white rabbit which I believe came from the Through the Looking Glass Tim Burton collection uh, from this past year and then we also have Chip and uh, teapot. What's her name? Mrs. Potts. Wow, that was a brain fart. Mrs. Potts and Chip, which are just adorable. I love them. And then I also have a little thing of sand and seashells from Naples, Florida. Moving on over here, we have Hagrid and he is huge and I love it. And he has his umbrella wand. It is just amazing. And then we have this Eiffel Tower that I got last year when I went to Paris. And then I have the 11th Doctor. It's funny because last year in my bookshelf tour, I just said 11 and that was like way before Stranger Things was a thing. And then Stranger Things came out and I started getting comments on my bookshelf tour being like that's not 11 that's the doctor and I was like oh dear look at the date but anyways he is adorable and one of my favorites I still need to get 10 because I also love 10. So moving on down here I have the little wiener dog pop doll. Wiener dogs are my absolute favorite dogs. I love them so much so if you want to tweet me pictures of dogs like any dogs are amazing. I love dogs but especially wiener dogs and I also love French bulldogs but he is so cute and I love him and this is the closest that I'm going to get to owning a dog in the near future. And then over here we have, I just realized I probably should have dusted because this shelf is a little bit dusty, but 
I'm too lazy. But anyways, over here we also have this whale, which is actually supposed to be a ring holder, but I just li really like whales and I think he's adorable, so I just keep him on there. And then we have Luna Lovegood, who is like my spirit animal. I love her so much and she is adorable. Just look at the earrings, I can't handle it. So moving on down here, we have the Katniss Everdeen from the Hunger Games pop doll. I had in my pop doll collection, I put my wish list on there and um, this lovely person on Instagram, her name, I'm probably gonna say it very incorrectly, but it's Taja Petrovic. She sent this to me, so thank you so much to her for sending this to me. I still need to send her a postcard. It has been taking me forever to find one, so I'm sorry about that, but I love her. She looks so cute on my shelf. And then over here, we have the Dementor, which once again, this is one that makes me laugh, because like, he's evil, but he's also so cute. Like, I don't know, just so funny. So moving on down here, we have Sirius Black. I was at Barnes & Noble because I made a trip to the States uh, a couple weeks ago with my mom, and literally I got like six or seven pop dolls because she just kept on handing them to me, and she's like, buy this one, buy this one. So that's how Sirius got here. Also Neville, and I love Neville because he's holding uh, Trevor, the toad, which is my favorite part of that. And I also have this little elephant that is from India. I don't really know how I got it, but I have it. So moving on to my TBR shelves, which is why the rainbow has stopped. We are now at the TBR shelves. It doesn't really matter if I do all the red books at once or all of the TBR books at once um, for this video, so I'm just doing it however. So uh, first off, we have this, which says some people are with melting for it, and my best friend made me this in first year, and I've had it ever since, and I love it. It has like this whole Christmas card, and it is just my favorite, so I really like keeping that there. And then here I have Cinderella. Um, this is the original Cinderella one and she was like super cheap so I got her. I'm not too fond of her hair but she still is very cute. And then we also have the Cheshire Cat from the Tim Burton Through the Looking Glass movies. So moving down here we have little Simba that I got for Christmas from my parents so thank you to them. He is so cute. He almost looks like you could like bottle feed him, which is weird. Um, but over here we have Dumbo who is just so adorable. So moving on down here, I have some rocks. They're actually my sisters from Greece. I'm just kind of watching them for her right now because she could not bring them with her. So I'm just watching them. Um, and then I also have the Siberian Husky pop doll. I got this because one, I had wanted it. And two, when I took my Patronus test, my Patronus was a Siberian Husky. So had to get it after that. And then we also have Umbridge who is the best villain that you love to hate and she's just oh she irks me but I do really like her pop doll and then we have Olaf who yes has no arms he is in very rough shape tragedy has befallen him and he is armless but that's fine he is now harmless haha <laughs> that was a good one oh, okay I'm gonna stop now then I have this little conch shell that I honestly have no clue where it came from but it's there and then I also have this lovely little French bulldog he is so cute like I said love French bulldogs and I just love him and and then I also have Scabbers from the Funko Mystery Minis, and that was in the December Owl Crate. Moving on over here, we have a cilantro lime candle, which smells very good, and it looks very nice, so it stays there. And then we also have Draco Malfoy, because I'm a Slytherin, and I just had to get Malfoy. And then we have this little um, Alice in Wonderland mug, which the Cheshire Cat will disappear except for his smile when there's hot liquid in it. But I'm really sad because it folded up at the butt, like at that part, which sucks. But this has all of my bookmarks in it. So I will be doing an updated bookmark collection um, at the end of February, so we will do that then. And finally, I have an Eye of Elena necklace that someone sent me for my birthday uh, two years ago, and I never figured out who it was, so if you're still watching, thank you very much for that. I absolutely love it. And then here we have some pictures. This is my cat Snicklefritz, who was my little baby, but he passed away a couple of years ago. He was my cat when I was a little kid. Um, um, so love him and I like having a picture of him there and then we also have me eating cake from just two days ago. Just kidding, but it would look exactly the same. And I also have this little happiness figurine that my mom got me. Um, it has seen better days. It is quite broken, but um, I'm probably gonna buy myself another one so then I still have one because it was very nice of her to get that for me. I was just very ungrateful and spoiled teenager at the time. Also over here I have the book Outlet Bear who is kind of struggling and very hunched over. Very bad for his back, but yeah, he's there. So that's all that is on my shelf. I know it's a lot. It has expanded a lot recently, but what can I say? I have an obsessive personality and I buy a lot of things. I mean, look at my book collection. It's just crazy. Just if you had seen my mugs too, I have a lot of mugs. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you wanted to see my old pop doll collection, I'll link that down below for you guys and my battery's gonna die. So 
So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!